Hello. In my previous video on colour preferences and personality, I posed the question as to whether there is such a relationship between the colours you choose and the kind of person you really are. Now, as I explained, one man who firmly believed that these relationships did exist was a Swiss psychologist named Max Lucia. Born in Baal in 1923, he studied psychology and for his doctorate he wrote a highly regarded dissertation entitled Colour as an Aid in Psychological Diagnosis. In 1947 he developed what he called his Colour Diagnostics Test. Now today, although some academics have questioned its validity, this test is being widely used by therapists and companies worldwide. I met Max many years ago, he died in 2017, while I was making a BBC documentary called The Colour Eye, and I later bought a copy of his book, The Lucia Colour Test, which I sometimes used when working with clients. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video on this subject, during which I described the relationships which he described between six of the colours and the Lucia colour test. As I explained then, you should not regard this test as either a toy, a party game, or a chance for a bit of one-upmanship. When I used it with clients, I normally only use its findings as the basis for a general discussion with them about their views, their goals, their ambitions, their dreams, their passions. And we did this at a level which we both felt was appropriate to their emotional state at that time, because I worked with a lot of very anxious, depressed people. Now, if you decide to use this test for yourself with somebody else, I would urge you that the other person be somebody you know intimately and trust completely, otherwise not, not a, a strange or some casual acquaintance. I think it would be best to use it with the kind of person you totally trust and, and know fairly well. The kind of individual perhaps you'd be happy to entrust with a, a loaded gun or a grenade. Now, I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that the full Lucia colour test, not the sort of pricey I'm going to give you in these two videos, the full test is capable of wrecking as much psychological damage in someone as those weapons are of creating physical damage. Since posting the first of two videos, I've received a number of interesting and well-reasoned comments regarding its veracity. As one of my correspondents pointed out, there is something of a, a Barnum quality to the interpretations as I presented them. By this, the writer meant that almost all the colour choices would have, he felt applied to him or herself. This is in, it perhaps in much the same way that a, a pseudo-psychic might inform a client they were certainly going to meet a dark, tall stranger, or going on a long journey, or coming into good fortune. Now, I entirely agree with this when it comes to the material as I presented it in that video. I would, however, stress that for reasons of both space and copyright, I was only able to offer you a small taster of Lucia's tests, which are detailed and complex. So, if you're interested in understanding just how subtle and perhaps effective his test really is, then I strongly suggest you purchase a copy of his book. I found several of these, both new and second-hand on Amazon. And I perhaps should add that I have no financial interest or commercial interest in promoting his book. I just think it's an interesting area to look at if you're interested in understanding your own psychology. Now, in my previous video, I showed these following six colours and asked you to choose your two favourites. So, here again are the cards, as before, numbered from zero for grey to seven. All you have to do is choose the two colours you like in the order you like them. For example, you might pick yellow as your first choice and red as your second. 
Now, remember the colours, those two colours, or if you like, jot down their numbers. In this, the second video, I'll be taking a look at what choosing the colour yellow, black and grey in combination with the other colours reveals about your personality. Well, that is, reveals about your personality according to the Lucia colour test. As before, these are presented in a very short and summarised form to keep this video as, as short as possible. So, as I say, they are only a kind of a summary of what the test seems to show uh, about your personality based on the colours you choose. I'm now going to go through the combinations, starting with grey as your first choice and blue as your second choice. In other words, with zero as your first choice and one as your second. According to Lucia, this combination reveals that conflicts and emotionally stressful events in your life, in your personal, social or business life, have left you feeling somewhat mentally and physically exhausted. Currently, it seems you're seeking a way to find a way of escaping from these distressing circumstances and striving to find a more tranquil and less challenging environment in which to relax, unwind and restore your psychological equilibrium. If you chose grey followed by yellow, that's zero followed by four. This evolution suggests reveals a desire to be liberated from burdens that are making your life miserable and unpleasant and which you feel unable to endure for much longer. You feel a desire to escape from the far from ideal circumstances in which you currently find yourself, but you're unsure of your best way out. Whilst actively looking for an escape, you feel stuck in a rut and unable to see a clear strategy that would improve your circumstances. You endeavour to avoid becoming involved in quarrels and disagreements because you prefer a calmer, quieter and more peaceful existence. Grey followed by greed, that's zero by two, indicates that you consider the situation in which you're currently finding yourself characterised by conflict and arguments, and these are both hostile and stressful to you. You feel so mentally and physically exhausted, you have made up your mind to avoid further disagreements by bringing about radical changes to the situation. And you're currently devising plans by which to affect these changes and escape from what has become an intolerable situation. Your strategy is one of taking care not to stir up any opposition, which might oblige you to reveal your plans and, by doing so, put them in jeopardy. Choosing grey followed by red, that's zero followed by three, indicates that you expect a great deal from life, but you are careful to conceal these expectations behind carefully and logically constructed reasoning. You are unwilling to reveal the true extent of your expectations for fear perhaps of, of ridicule or, or being come out, knocked back in some way. Whilst you are eager to make a positive impression on others, you seek to conceal this desire both as a form of self-preservation and as a reluctance to reveal too much of your dreams, desires and goals to others. Finally, we come to grey followed by black, that's zero followed by seven. Now, this combination suggests you feel that people and situations in your life are prejudiced against you and you have been let down in a variety of ways. You resent having to be deceived in your expectations, which you regard as an unjustified personal attack. The current situation is making you feel somewhat despondent and frustrated since your desire to rebel and improve matters conflicts with your opinion of your personal merits and worth. So let's look at the situation if you happen to choose yellow followed by the other colours. So yellow with grey, that's four and zero, suggests you seek an immediate relief from what you feel are is tyrannising you 
and holding you back, making you a prisoner to alien values. However, you continue to hold on to insufficient and clear hopes and thus have yourself to blame for jeopardising your chances. So what about yellow as your first choice followed by blue as your second? That is four followed by one. It seems here you search for fresh opportunities and ideas that you hope will be rewarding and appealing and you trust that emotional ties and friendships will provide you with extensive pleasure and gratification. Your need for recognition means you are willing to aid others in return for their care and consideration and you hope that this brings you satisfaction and tranquility in turn. Now to yellow followed by green, that's four followed by two. Here you're constantly on the lookout for fresh prospects and eagerly await the opportunity for increased independence and decreased restrictions that will allow you to secure and embrace these opportunities with open arms. You make a considerable effort to prove yourself worthy of the respect and appreciation you aspire to receive and you dexterously attempt to lessen the void you feel is in place between yourself and other people. Yellow followed by red, four followed by three. This suggests you feel that your current, act, your current extensive range of activities, obligations and duties leave you overly stretched and as a result you seek greater authority and increased control. At present it seems that your responsibilities do exceed your powers to some extent and this is causing you avoidable stress and leading to mistakes and failures for which you may be blamed but over which you currently have little or no control. So finally in this section yellow followed by black that's four followed by seven. This indicates you act on rash decisions and hasty and impulsive changes to your plans in an attempt to rid yourself of troublesome complications and the experience of unnecessary strain that you would certainly prefer to avoid. These hurried decisions cause you even more stress unfortunately or this is of course the opposite of what you had in mind at the start. So now let's move to the final set of combinations which is black followed by other cards. So black is your first choice of colour and grey which is actually of course in both cases the absence of colour that's seven followed by zero is your second choice. Now you consider your current circumstances to be without hope and as a result are making a concerted effort to avoid any issues that cause needless stress and lead to ever more worrying demands. You prefer to steer clear of anything that has the potential of making you feel more dispirited and frustrated. Black followed by blue, that's seven is your first choice and one is your second choice. This suggests your main desire is to be left on your own to deal quietly with the emotional turmoil resulting from a period in which you feel you've been left distressed and disillusioned. You resent interference from others, no matter how well-meaning, as you seek your own answers to these problems and find practical ways to develop personally effective coping strategies, but in your own good time. Now, black followed by green, that's seven followed by two. This indicates you insist on following your own ideas and sticking to your own opinion regardless of the pressures others may be applying to you in an attempt to make you change your mind. You feel that this is the only means by which you can exert your freedom and demonstrate your personal resolve and willpower. Now black followed by red, seven followed by three. You have been greatly energized by recent events and your increased vitality has led you to become both restless and inspired. You're looking for new challenges and goals and eager to develop your ideas still further. Your mind is seething with ideas and ambitions, so much so 
that you're somewhat uncertain how best to proceed. And finally we have black with yellow. That's seven followed by four. This suggests you feel overwhelmed by a desire to free yourself from the pressures and anxieties you currently find yourself under. In your search for an escape route, you run the risk of making poor choices and of pursuing certain lines which you uh, follow obstinately in spite of clear evidence that that particular way of thinking and acting could result in potentially unhappy or damaging decisions. Here you're constantly on the lookout for fresh prospects and eagerly await the opportunity for increased independence and decreased restrictions that will allow you to secure and embrace these opportunities with open arms. You make a considerable effort to prove yourself worthy of the respect and appreciation you aspire to receive and you dexterously attempt to lessen the void you feel is in place between yourself and other people. Yellow followed by red, four followed by three, this suggests you feel that your current, act, your current extensive range of activities, obligations and duties leave you overly stretched and as a result you seek greater authority and increased control. At present it seems that your responsibilities do exceed your powers to some extent and this is causing you avoidable stress and leading to mistakes and failures for which you may be blamed but over which you currently have little or no control. In my next video I'm going to invite you to consider aspects of colour from a completely different perspective. This time I want to take a look at what a child's choice of colour in their art reveals about their own personalities and inner lives. Some years ago I wrote a book about what children's drawings and paintings reveal about their personality. I wrote this with, a, with an American colleague of mine uh, and we'll be give, I'll be giving you details of this book on the next video. Well thanks so much for watching and once again may I say do please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to keep up to date with what Dad and I have to reveal about the fastest and most effective ways of changing your life by changing your mind.